One of the emerging voices in literature is Olumide Pokola. Olumide is a London-based Nigerian-German who is a writer and performer. Her publications include essays, poetry, and the novella titled This Is Not About Sadness. We recently caught up with her for a chat about her writing experiences and new Cassava Republic published novel titled When We Speak of Nothing. Enjoy it. Hi, Olumide. Hello, hi. Nice to be here with you. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Um, before we um, dive into your book, When We Speak of Nothing, what's your story? When did you start writing? Um, when did you get into books? I was always fascinated by stories. I think my imaginative, uh, like, my imagination was quite developed. So I, I loved stories. And when I learned to write at age six, which is in Germany when you start writing, um, and I discovered that you could actually make those stories yourself. I was hooked and I declared I was going to be a writer and I never looked back and I never changed. You, you started with poetry, right? I did start with poetry. Before you went in into my prose. Teens, yes. Okay. So initially I started with stories, but in my teens it was poetry and I did spoken word for quite a while. So I was performing internationally and but there was a time that I got a bit stuck and I was looking for a new voice in my poetry, sort of to grow as a writer and I couldn't really find it. And that's when I discovered first plays, but then prose. To explore the world of prose. Prose, yes. You, you mentioned Germany. Yes. Of course, you are Nigerian-German. Mm -hmm. um, so you started writing at six. Mm -hmm. Was that in German or in English? In German. I, I started school in Germany. So okay. Official school, yeah. So you write in German and then you write in English. I do. To be honest, these days I hardly write anything in German. I find it quite hard because I've been out of the country for quite a while. I lived in London for a while and my whole writing life is in English language. Okay. So I'm waiting for that great commission for, <laughs> G for the German book, but it has to be the right one. Then okay. I will sit down and write in German. Okay. Okay. Now, um, this is your second published work. Your first yes, was in novella. It's my fourth, but my second... Um, piece of novel. Novel. Okay. Yeah. okay, the first mm -hmm. was a novella, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now, um, there are many people out there who are not very familiar with this. So let's do a general overview. When we speak of nothing, what's it about? It's about friendship. It's these two 17-year-old guys called Carl and Abu, and they grew up in London, and it's 2007, just in the middle of the banking crisis. So Carl goes to Nigeria to meet his unknown father, and they have this dual story. Abu gets entangled in some things in London, Carl gets entangled in some things in Port Harcourt. And the friendship is sort of tested and the loyalty is tested. So in the heart of it is really how do you negotiate the people you love and here not so much romantic love but friendship. And uh, how do you listen to them properly? So when we speak of nothing, we don't end the silence. So the sort of moral is you have to speak to each other properly, listen to each other properly and give each other space. But it touches on a lot of his issues, and the, but they're more of the backdrop to the story, to the story. itself. Mm -hmm. What inspired this? Um, is a question I like to ask yes. a lot. You know, the story behind the story. You know, wh what inspired this? At what point did you decide, I'm going to write this novel? So th the first book, the novella, was about the friendship of two women. So this is a friendship of two men. I think I wanted to branch out and spend some time with particularly young men because in in the UK they're quite vilified they have such of a bad reputation the whole youth at such and then the banking crisis happened so I wanted to sort of bring in a youthful view on how the country is being run down and what okay. they might think about it mm. okay and um, I, I think that then explains the language of your novel yes there's the mm -hmm. youthfulness about the language mm -hmm. there's a more a, a um, contemporariness if mm -hmm. I may use that expression about your, your absolutely your it's writing. very casual language very there's a lot of colloquialism slang um, some pidgin English when he gets to Nigeria, there's certain instances, so it's def definitely a young voice. Okay. Yeah. Well, who is Olumide? O Olumide the writer. What are you about as a writer? Um, is it to entertain? Is it to uh, um, express your feelings about mm. societal issues? Who are you as a writer? Um, I think both. I, I feel quite strongly about certain issues or that we 
instead of living an equal and just society. So I think that comes through to a lot of my work. But I also want to entertain, entertain. I want a good story. And I really wanted to create a page turner with When We Speak of Nothing. And I think it, it is a page turner. So it touches on issues here and there, but it's also an engaging plot. So yeah, that's important to me too. And, and there's the um, traditional Yoruba religion bits <coughs> about this. <laughs> Uh, there is the issue, issue and you know f tell me a bit more about that i've always been fascinated by those stories um i mean as you probably know there's a rich theater tradition around you know stories of the traditional yoruba gods and i've used here here and when we speak of nothing i use the issue as an allegory because there's a famous story about how he tricks two friends to have this big argument and the philosophical point in a way is to to assess where you are at and again to grow beyond where you've been and not just to take things for granted and it was a perfect allegory for Carl and Abu in the novel so I sort of tied this together but the issue is also concerned with language so you can assume different languages so it fitted in a way that he would come and give these two, pe two young people a voice in their own voice. In their own voice. Mm -hmm. Okay now um, reading through your let me read just a little bit and then ask you this um, I'll read from, okay, let me read from, now, this is chapter one, mm -hmm. if not for Abu flicking his head back every so often, waiting a split sec, full on profile, to make sure Carl was keeping track, it would have been impossible to tell them apart. Those two, like twins, the funny thing Abu's parents already had twins, and they were sweet but annoying seven years old. How do you create, as a writer, can you describe how you create your either characters or scenes mm -hmm. or situations? Like something that just, just take us through that just a little bit mm. as a writer. How does your mind work? I'm really into inhabiting them, embodying them. So I briefly went to theatre school and um, we did a lot of work obviously in character development and I still use some of those exercises at times if I'm stuck to really get to know the character but have them in my body and think about how they might walk down the streets and in a way I try to become Abu Okal and take him around the block, that's what I keep saying, is put on a hoodie, no makeup, baggy jeans and then see what happens. Oh, you really do that? I do it to some extent. That's because crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, because it only works to some extent because okay. people will still maybe recognize that I'm not a teenage boy. <laughs> so you don't have that experience. But in my mind, I do. You understand? Mind, so so you, okay. I'm trying to embody it and think, okay, now you're going you're just corner shop. What does that mean? It's a different thing. So I really spend time on that. Um, and to bring them alive and then they sort of do what they want anyway. But I spend a lot of time on voice and language. I think that's where I come first and maybe because I'm a poet. So once the language is there, once I hear them speaking and the rhythm is there, it sort of does flows by itself. Is writing difficult? Yes. It is. Yes. It is. <laughs> it is difficult. I can't remember who said it, but I think some famous writer said writing is more difficult for writers or it is quite difficult for writers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that it's easier for us. It's just we can we have to do it, so we do it. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's fantastic. A lot of times it's hard work, going back, trying again, rewriting. Okay. So, but it's also, yeah, I love it. I, I wouldn't want to do anything else. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Lumine, thank you very much for joining us on Channel's Book Club. Thanks so much for having me. Pleasure having you. <laughs> thank you. Great. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please join us, as always, on any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. I am Olakunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.